Hello and welcome to the Managing Uncertainty Podcast. I'm Brian Strausser, Principal and Chief Executive here at BrightPath. And in episode 251, I want to just talk briefly about some of the tools that we use to make great video, even when we're on the road. Um, I'm currently uh, on a working vacation in the Wisconsin Dells, about four hours from uh, the Twin Cities where I live, Minneapolis and St. Paul, and where Bright Pass office is. I am at a national dance competition with my two teenage daughters, uh, and uh, one of them did her first competition this afternoon, and will be competing throughout the week. Um, and in between those competitions, I'll be doing a little bit of work uh, and taking a few uh, important meetings so that our work here at Bright Path stays on track. One of the things that I can do uh, to make sure that I keep producing great video content is to use some really basic tools. And that's what I'm recording this podcast episode on today. Um, I'm actually recording this on my phone. This is, uh, I have an iPhone uh, 15 Pro Max or Max Pro, I forget how they describe it. Um, it's the big uh, high-end model of iPhone. I'm not using any special microphones other than the AirPod Pros uh, that I have here, um, but all of our shorts, for the most part, uh, the Instagram reels and the shorts that you see from us, uh, if they're featuring me, uh, they're being also recorded on this same phone. Every once in a while, I record them using the fancy equipment at my desk, but most of the time, I'm just recording here on the phone. And I'm using a very simple uh, telescoping tripod uh, from Joby. You can get this on Amazon or at Best Buy. Uh, it runs about, uh, I think, $99 to $119. But it will hold a phone in landscape or portrait mode, depending upon what you want to do. Um, you can hold it in your hand, or in this case, I have it here on the table here in the, uh, the hotel uh, suite that we're staying in for this dance competition. Um, it also even has a little Bluetooth trigger that you can use here. Um, that will let you take photos with it. Like if you're using it as a selfie stick, uh, I don't really think that's a thing. Maybe that's a thing people still do. Uh, they didn't used to, uh, it, I haven't seen that in a while. Um, but it's helpful when you have the camera a little bit away from you. This camera is about two feet across the table from where I'm at. And it lets me start and stop the video relatively easily. So this is important for us. Uh, for, um, for the podcast, it's one thing to record this longer form video uh, like I'm doing right here. Um, but for Instagram Reels or Facebook Shorts or YouTube Shorts, uh, uh, it, the more casual uh, videos, the more realistic videos are a better way to go. And we do that just simply using the phone. I've recorded these and I've recorded some Instagram Reels in a park um, because I was out for my daily exercise and I had something on my mind and I was able to take a moment to just make the video on the spot and I think that just adds to the realism uh, and the authenticity of making something like that. So I hope to make some other shorts uh, on this little working vacation that I'm on as well. But those are just two simple tools. Uh, your, your phone, uh, in this case my iPhone, and just a simple tripod like this uh, Joby Telepod. Um, that I use here um, can really make the difference in the quality of your video uh, and be able to help you with that. We continue to see great engagement with video as a way of communicating messaging and even inside of a company, I think that you, we think that you can use video very effectively to push your resilience messaging and drive awareness and share some behind the scenes looks uh, as well. That's it for this edition of the Managing Uncertainty Podcast. I'll be back next week with another new episode. Be well. Thanks for watching our video. To learn more about how to manage uncertainty and disruption in your organization, be sure to like, follow, and subscribe to our video channel. And here are a few more videos that we've selected that will help you learn more about business continuity, crisis management, and crisis communications.